we need to get the levels in for the concrete and it needs inspecting. So there we go, Hutchins has took the digger. Well, oh, he's made a good dent in it already. So we'll get you set up and uh, enjoy the show. Yesterday, no, not can't complain though because it rained at the end of the day, but um, it's certainly colder. But hmm? yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's in the bag at the moment. And he's like, said he's made, yeah. Um, he saw the progress we made last night, so like, there we go. There you go, has a better look in the day. Mm. We covered all this up to uh, protect it all from the rain, so we're gonna get all this uncovered and get cracking. We've got to uh, try and get this finished, or at least get enough finished. So if we do have to come back, it's just a little bit for me and Dad to do. So we will see you. change happening. The clay's really tough to get through so I put the smaller bucket on to get a bit more bite in the clay. Um, Jason's found the uh, house foundation again. So what we're doing is to find the foundation we're going to get 150 down so we're level. So our concrete's level with the house level the concrete. But obviously our concrete's going to look higher and stick so we're on top of the house foundation. We're going to do this pocket about 900 by 650 and then we're going to reduce it down to 400 across the door. Because where the doors are, all we've got is a bit of block work, a three quarter brick and then a door. Nothing on the inside because the slab goes up to the outside skin. So there's basically nothing goes across most of this side. So there's no point putting a massive big heavy foundation. We're going to reduce it across the door. And on this side, that's all to depth. That water, that's not from the rain, that's just when you've got a, when you break into a foundation, the water always sits in the trench where it's been backfilled. So that's just seeped out from around the house. Hopefully that, that'll be all that comes out now. Um, so that all needs um, bailing out, bottoming out nice and flat, take this lump out, and it through. That's more or less through to the end of the dig now. Um, that row of flags there. First row, we're 150 past that for the dig. The actual lower flight is the wall, so that all has to come out. And we're clipping the foundation again, so that's going to have to come out. So we've ended up all that's left in is these two little tiny wings here. It's a good job we've got this thing because we didn't go very wide with the foundation, but we went deep. It's probably 15 inches, probably about 15 inches by 15 inches. So it's not about it's more about the width than the depth because the wider it goes, the more stable it is in the ground. And some of these trenches are quite a huge, they've even dug them flat. So, yeah, um, I'm going to start breaking that out now. Because it's got to come out, which is a pain in the ass. And then there's a bit left to come out there as well. But, yeah, I'm nearly there. So, I'm going to put you on the time up again and then back on.
suction tube. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yes, it is. Thank you. Wait, see that Royal Court in 1991. Right. So this is all got to come out. So I'm, I've made a start on that. I've let the batteries charge over great times. Chase is cracking over there. So basically, we've got the front and half that side to come out. The will just keep cracking on. I mean, that's probably back tomorrow to get it all bottomed out and ready for concrete. But we're not still going to finish today, but we should get quite far. I've, I've messaged Steve about the grab, trying to get the grab done tomorrow because we're definitely approaching capacity now. And then if we do get it taken away, we can get a skip put in its place and put stuff straight into a skip. Hopefully, with the door on it. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at that. That's not the last bunch, That's all just lashing all this stuff. Don't wreck the other barrels. Well, that one almost went through it. I know, yeah. You can see it like belly at the bottom. So that could end up in the skit. So you might just put the spare wheel for the, for the tire in the wheel. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to set you up some so we get everyone, everyone working and then um, keep cracking on. It's probably about what it is. 10 to 11 and it is a beautiful day lovely day it's nice tomorrow as well so let's see what happens Live action, no, doesn't pick the radio.
Half one, there's a picture of um, Gotham City Police Department. Can I just say, for legal reasons, that was a joke before someone starts uh, saying I'm a lackluster <laughs> uh, person. Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> like Jason said to me before, he said, he said you're self employed now, you should go home if you want. <laughs> so there you go. That's our narrow trench, that's our open bit. It's a bit narrow, and it opens up again here somewhere. Jason's nearly got the first half of the front done. He's going to tidy that up. So, this is day two of the main dig. We've already had a funny full day. To, uh, cut, breaking the slab up and getting rid of it, most of it. So, we're already in. So this is our third day. Alright, I've allowed three days. But this is a, this is a, a mammoth task. So, we'll just have to speak to the customer out the, the extra day. Obviously, we need an extra day higher on that. We need an extra day for us and we need we're going to need extra concrete for the extra depth so I'll have to top that up and work it out and speak to the customer obviously you don't know what's, what you're going to hit till you start digging it's always um, you never know so as you can see there's the circuit sat on and there's one the extension that we sat on
planning number. Yeah. The end draws near of the day. <laughs> We've um so have you spoken to me about us keeping the digger for the morning? Um no. Alright, well I'll give you a little fill in of what's um, going on. We have not filmed for a bit just because it's the same old. But um obviously there's our progress. That's down to level, that's down to level, and up to there is down to level, so there's that corner left. And obviously it's like four o'clock now, so we're nearing the end of the day. We're gonna keep the digger for the morning and Hodgson and Skill come and pick it up at whatever time Dad's agreed on, I'm not too sure. But it's sluggish progress, but it's progress. Obviously, we're going so much deeper than we usually would, which is okay because you can never over engineer a foundation. I'd rather it be ex excessively done and it's safe, rather it be underdone and it not be safe. I'm um, putting the getting the barriers ready to move again. This is done with, I think, for the for this part of the job. A little soldier. It um, we we worked it to its to the bone because it overheated a few times. We've been working it that hard, but beautiful. I'm gonna just gonna pack all this away now while we while I put stuff away. No, sorry. I'll pack this away while I'm emptying barrels. There you go. So we will get you set up for this like last little bit of digging for the day and then we'll probably see you tomorrow yeah tomorrow where we'll have this finished up and that'll be the end of the video hopefully see you then So, you can see that we're nearly, we've almost met the uh, two digs. Um, <laughs> uh, Hodge, Dad rang up Hodgson's today to say, right, it's, it's off high now, we're ready to take it. Because yesterday he called and said, can we keep it till 10? And they go, yeah, just keep it till 10, that's fine, we'll still charge you the, just the two digs. And so Dad rang up at 20, 20 past eight to say, okay, we're, um, off higher now, uh, it's ready to get picked up. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> 20 minutes later, they show up. So, um, I've never seen dad move so fast. He was rushing down that road and said to them, Uh, well, we've we've um, we've agreed that it can be 10 o'clock, so if you're okay, if you're okay, just like wait until then. And we, yeah, that's fine, it's fine. So, we, we've still got the digger, thank god. That was a close one. I wouldn't like to dig that by hand. Very, very tough. It's dry clay, so it's very tough. But um, yeah, we're making progress. All we've got really left to do is that dig there and then level this bit off. We can just do it with the barrows though, so. Get that drained out, empty the uh, water and level that off. And then the rest of it is all looking quite nice. So yeah, there's your little update. It's, uh, freezing today I think it, it was minus two last night and it's it's not exactly it doesn't feel above zero at the moment but that's why you got to work hard to warm up I'll get you set back up somewhere now and we'll uh, catch you in a minute
So there we go, Hutchins has took the digger. I tell you what, good just a little bit of time left. That's how much we got. So yeah, it's gonna help Jason get the bucket and then we'll get that sent off and then finally have a bully break, I'm starving. So he's after break. Saturday the 25th at 1 minute to 1 and it's done. The dig. <laughs> Jesus, it's done. Alex and Jason hand dug the last bit. There we go. So, it's forecast rain Sunday night into Monday so we're covered up as best we can, which is a bit lame but we've got another board to come round to get this last bit but this is the wet end anyway, with the sump, dug a sump in it, so hopefully the water's going to gather at this side and the rest of it will stay dry, fingers crossed. I've covered the stone back up, I left it, uncovered it for the sun for a bit, try and dry that out a bit because that's coming back in. And we've just run out of boards, we've, I think every board we own is at the front isn't it? That's one big pile and I just hope what's left is going to fit in another skip because there's going to be a lot over and we're going to ask the driver, I think it's going to be Steve. If you can leave the concrete rather than the soil, this, the clay, because the con lumps of concrete are easier to throw into a skip than a spade and horrible sticky clay. Man, it's not horrible sticky, is it? It's, it's quite a tall bone dry, isn't it? That was horrible and sticky. This is horrible and sticky. This is where um, it's not. There's not water in the ground. This, is, whenever you dig a foundation, when the strip foundations backfilled, the water always gathers in what used to be the trench because it's never solid around where the cut was. So, because we've opened it up, then the water's naturally made its way out into the open, open end. So, it's it looks quite dry now, so as long as it doesn't rain too much and get down into the foundations and end up back in here, but it's just a matter of bailing out really, so building control can have a look at it. Hopefully we've got it in a position now where he can say, yeah, concrete it. Like I say, we're well over depth, we're 1250 down, but uh, that's that's because we've gone to the bottom of the concrete of the original house. So I'll take you around and show you the big pile of shite in a minute. I'll show you the big pile of shite then, yeah. My uh, boots have been blessed this uh, this year so far with the crap. Let me, hey. Oh god, hold on. You're, uh, you're wrong. So yeah, I'll show you the big pile of crap. There you go, there's the little spade for reference. That was a lot. <laughs> Let's put them there for now, they've been 
blessed christening this year. That was a rough last bit, but I wanted to get it done today. So we're not coming Monday when it's meant to be raining and trying to dig it out. So that, that side's now scraped off and level. And there you go, there's our little concrete moat, not moat, um, wall. <laughs> Yeah, so we will be seeing you, for you, for you it'll be in a second, but we'll be seeing you Monday for concrete, hopefully. Fingers crossed. See you then. Uh, it's Monday the 27th, 8 o'clock. Uh, about 20 minutes ago now, we uh, we got a call from Steve from Napier. Uh, he's at the job. <laughs> we should have been there, I told him we were there at half seven. We, we were meant to be there at half seven, but we were, um, we completely, well, Steve said he was going to try and fit us in first, but he couldn't confirm whether he did or not. So we were getting ready to nip to Fairwoods just in case. As well as we were getting all our like stuff jotted down, what we need to go and get. Steve rings out up and says, "Right, I'm, I'm at the job." So he's uh, we're, we're we're rushing here now, and he's he's he'll probably be nearly finished by the time we get there. But the, at least the, the grab will be done. Yeah, just a shame we couldn't film it. Oh yeah, so hopefully um, hopefully he's still there so we can give him a thank you and we'll, um, if there's anything left to film, we'll film it, so we'll see you in a minute. Well, he's made a good dent in it already, so we'll get you set up and uh, enjoy the show. So, that's, that's uh, the grab full. Uh, I, was, oh, I was worried there's going to be a lot more left than that, so that's, uh, that's what it is. We're going to get a skip to put the rest of that stuff in, I think. Steve's going to be really nice and move, move all the crap to one side for us, so that way we can get a skip and then just toss it all in next to it. So, another satisfied grab session with Steve, thank you very much. Yeah, you know, it's flashing, it's trying its best to rain. There you go, so I'll help Dad get all this in um, now and then we'll, um, we'll show you what it looks like after. There you go. That is quality service. So thank you Steve from Jane Napier again. Obviously if, you, if, you, if you're around the local area you need a grab wagon, they're the ones to hit up. But um, now for the bad news. <laughs> we covered up the uh, trench as best as we could but it was... Uh, it was all in vain. There you go, and just and just to rub salt in the wound, just, just raining it into it now. Right, we're always a bit behind, so Monday, I think Alistair said the date, but this is the day. This is the week it went very cold and very wet. This was all covered up on Saturday afternoon. I don't know how deep that is, but um, it's all got to come out so it can be inspected. Probably got about three or four ton left over that wouldn't fit in the grab. He took a good wagon load there. This has got to be bottomed out anyway, but it's probably about three inches in there at the lowest points. But that needs coming out. We need to get the levels in for the concrete and it needs inspecting. Uh, we've ordered the bricks, but I've got to go and pay for them. Not been to Fairwood yet because. Um, it was a bit of a panic station to get here this morning for Steve because he said he thought we were coming at half seven. We forgot, so oof. we've still got a lot to do today. Well, it's just after ten now, isn't it? Been sat in the van waiting for the rain to stop. Luckily, it stopped. The forecast said it's stopping at dinner, but it's not. It's stopped for us for now. So we're going to have a go at getting this. Alex will bail it and I'll tip it. I'm just tip it at the bottom of the garden. 
there is a manhole but uh, we'll just tip it. it it was getting away okay over there so yeah where are you going to bail it from the clean side because this is all flat wasn't it this is the low side though isn't it I was going to like okay dig a, do a little sump hole and then right. just let it come to me so I need to get a few buckets for you don't I I've got two right okay <laughs> Okay. The, the good news is starting to trickle back in. Ten past eleven, and we're, we're we're down. Building inspector's been went. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> that's I was in New York. Yeah. But you can see we've gone down. You can see it's done properly. He just wanted us to tow that in a bit. So it's, just take a bit off there to get a bit more spread off it at the bottom of the concrete. And um, he wants us to. Um, catch the bottom of that concrete which you will be doing because there's a lot of gone, lot, it's going deep um, we've bailed out more or less there now and it's pretty level that judging by the way the puddles have settled these two sides are okay this side needs all the slush taken all the mush taken out but we need that anyway we left that because we knew it was going to get watering so plan for the rest of the day is get the levels into here once we've done the levels, clean the trench out, get it as dry as we possibly can. Um, Pray that the rain doesn't come back. Yeah. So that's grab done, skip arrived, building inspector done. So now I need to go to Fairwoods and get the materials ordered. Got to go to Wigan, pay for the bricks. And what was the other thing? We have to go and pay for the grab wagon. So um, what else was I going to say? I think that's it. You want a brush for me, please? Yes. Or a spazzle? Yeah. I'm going to try the spazzle on this. Just drag the soft stuff back. And then you can drag the water back into this little sump there. But yeah, that's a relief. It's all okay to put concrete. Uh, so, so just get the first lot in dry and then... Yeah. But we'll, I will mention that to them. Just get them to get a couple of bars around the bottom dry. Yeah. The side should be okay, but we'll put boards around anyway. Right, we interrupt this broadcast from the future, which is the 2nd of January, when I'm currently editing the video. As you can see, we've just finished the dig, and we're ready to put the levels in. And we're up to 35 minutes, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop it here, instead of the video being over an hour. Um, I think people would rather have two short videos than one massive long, an hour long. So, um... I'm going to chop it here and we're going to resume from when we start putting the levels in. So um, I'm going to go back again into the past to Alex sat behind me in the office to do one of our outros that we put on when we forgot to do them. We didn't do many outros on this job. We were there for four days altogether. So we don't show how the videos are going to pan out. So I'll hand you over to Alex. See you soon. Uh, we forgot to do an outro again. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just say th the job wasn't exactly kind to us, so um, doing an outro was kind of the... one of... what well, wasn't on our priority list. That's the end of the video. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. There's to be a bell. That way you'll always know when we upload, which is a massive help and a good uh, way to support the channel. And if you want to support the channel any extra ways, you can do the super thanks option under the video or there's a link to Dad's PayPal. Not necessary, but appreciated nonetheless. Every little bit towards uh, Dad's uh, trust fund <laughs> for his hip. We've had some very kind donations. Yeah, so everybody who's been donating, very very much appreciated. Thank you. So this has been lounging about in our living room with Steve and Alex. And we'll see you in the next one.